up guys the all father here bringing you another war recap and this was a close one against a relatively decent clan it was kind of refreshing uh, to have a little bit of competition for a change only level five uh, but they did pretty decent and so uh, we'll see what uh, the final tally was here 29 attacks used by each three stars were nine to six and of course that was the difference is those three stars in the final score of 39 to 36 total destruction pretty close but we edged them out there by about three little over three percentage points there and so this war recap uh we are gonna give a little bit of love to our town hall nines we had several uh unique and interesting town hall nine three star attacks and definitely want to take a look at each one of those and give them their due Go ahead and start here with the number 10 base. And before we do, uh, the reason uh, that we're not looking at the Town Hall 8 attacks is because our Town Hall 8s all three starred their bases relatively quickly and uh, using the Dragoon and the Light Quake. So the two level 5 lightning spells, the Earthquake spell, and then the uh, heal or rage spell left over by using the light quick option and every single one of those town hall eights was taken out by some form of dragon and light quake attack and so uh, lesson learned there uh, with those underpowered ad's and that light quake attack uh, we made quick work of their town hall eights and were able to focus pretty much exclusively on the town hall nines and so that's what we're going to look at here Again, here you see it's a relatively underdeveloped Town Hall 9. Uh, level 4 air defenses all around, rushed everywhere. Uh, Archer towers, whiz towers, etc. Uh, Teslas are rushed. Uh, so, just systematically starts dismantling their air defense. Goes ahead and light quakes uh, one of the air defenses. Tried to get a lure there with the hog, but took kind of a bad angle, and so the hog. Uh, instead of running towards that archer tower, ended up being attracted to the Tesla and not uh, being able to get the clan castle pulled done. Uh, however, level 4 dragons uh, coming from the northwest side there, followed up by clan castle max balloons. And they're just going to slowly work their way in. Loons are going to be heading towards that second AD and targeting. Rage spell gets them right up to it, goes down in a hurry. Clan castle dragon, wizard and archer pops. And now he's just got two more ADs left. You see he's brought a bunch of hogs at the bottom. Uh, that light quake affords him another spell. And so he goes ahead and just heals his hogs up on the approach to the fourth AD. It goes down. They're going to be at full health. They're going to be able to help take down another archer tower, another whiz tower. Start working their way into the core to take some of the hit points off of these other defenses. Giant Bond there does take a lot of the health off of them, but they do get that Tesla down and uh, after that there's just a couple of defenses left that can hurt the air troops and those level 4 dragons are going to be more than beefy enough goes ahead and drops his heroes down to clear some of the garbage out and just help those dragons work into the defenses that much quicker go ahead and fast forward through the rest of that and you can see just a ton of troops left so really nice attack there by the dumbest and using a variety of spells and different troop combinations to systematically dismantle that base's air defense. Next we have Mountain Dew Maniac and he is a Town Hall 9.5 and so as you can see there we've got max wizards max uh, golems as a result of that and five spell location or five spaces for spells regular spells and goes ahead and just quakes his way into the outer ring and the core no lure just goes ahead and drops the golems in there they're going to tank the attention of the enemy dragon rage spell there to go ahead and deal with the clan castle troops on the fly relatively quickly it's going to take a little while for that dragon to go down but he's gone still hasn't even dropped that last golem yet and uh 
just ton of witch skeletons going around, heals up the wizards and the witches uh, as they work their way around the outside of the base. Skeletons are kind of distracting on the middle of the base to the core, and now we have some witches, wizards, and the queen redirecting to the core, and she's going to go ahead and take out the uh, town hall with the wizards and some of those defenses in there. And full abilities still left. Goes ahead and activates the Barbarian King ability there. The last golem's beaten on a wall. Now he gets through. He's going to go ahead and provide the tanking necessary on those last defenses. And still got two golems that have not busted yet. It's with about half a dozen wizards. A couple witches left and his hero. Uh, his queen activates her ability there. And everything's gone. Easy nuke for a town hall. 9.5 against this base. So good job there, Do. Not the highest level base, but that's why it's important that we're able to take it with those extra spells and those higher troops. It's important to be able to drop down and just take those bases pretty easily. Moving up to our next one. Uh, this is... A new attack, newish, um, kind of a rehashed attack that I learned um, really over the last day or two. And I picked it up off of the uh, Wicked Gaming YouTube channel. Um, so I'm subscribed to Wicked Gaming. I watch, uh, starting to watch a little bit more of that one. Um, I'm sure they don't watch me, but <laughs> I watch them and um, picked up this Gola Loon variant and. Uh, Practiced it a lot, moving up or getting ready for the war. And uh, once I had the opportunity to go for a three-star attack, I found the base that I thought would work the best for it. And what that is is a base where you can get to the queen and you also have uh, ear defenses on the approach to the queen. So as you can see with this base, uh, on the north area there, a northern approach there, you're going to be able to access the queen, two air defenses, an air sweeper, uh, and a Tesla in that two by two box there that's kind of walled in. And so there's a lot of value for anti-air in that top compartment. And that's what you're looking at for this go la loon attack style. It used to be that you had to use a jump spell or something to do this. Uh, now with the quad quake, you're able to open up those compartments a lot easier. And so that's what this is. It's a go la loon quad quake using, uh, your double golem to get in and your heroes backed up by uh, about a nine wizard kill squad and their job is to get in there take care of the clan castle on the fly the enemy queen two air defenses and anything else they can get so let's go ahead and see how this plays out A little delayed reaction there apparently. You must have been thinking it through, but there's the quad quake that opens up that compartment. Golem followed by the wizards to create the funnel because you still have to create a good funnel to make sure everything goes into that northern compartment. Uh, six wizards able to do that. Golems take the distract. Wall breakers get in. Once that wall is broken, everything's going to dive towards the middle. And followed up by the heroes. Now you see the clan castle trips and kind of goes off to the side. Went ahead and dropped that heal spell as they turned their attention back towards the middle. Uh, poison spell there to try to slow them down while they get dealt with, and a rage spell. So a lot of spells right off the bat. Um, because if you don't get the clan castle down, the enemy queen, and the two uh, air defenses, it's not going to happen. And so you have to spend the spells at the front end of it to get that to work. Then we're just going to drop systematically work the outside with the lava hounds. Starting with two on the first air defense, and you just attack them one at a time. Followed by targeted loons. And there's a lot of defenses over there, and there's no spells left. So that's kind of the downside of this attack, is it's, it's timing and it's patience. Uh, you see one of the hounds busts there, but one of them's still there. And the balloons are still working in there. They still haven't gotten quite in there and haven't taken it out. Uh, but now, right as it's about to go down, loons are over there. You see that last hound is already in followed by the loons right away. Notice the queen is still alive in the middle. Another hound busts, so we have just one left. Balloons are working their way around. 
there's some variations where instead of using that poison spell on the front side, you could bring a haste spell or something to help speed up the back end. But because there was no lure and those kind of things, and there was a lot of uh, defenses going on there in the approach, uh, and the queen and the clan castle were right there, it just made more sense to go ahead and poison them. Um, but you see, the queen stays alive, and even if she didn't, uh, there's enough troops to take care of everything here. But they go ahead, drop that last defense, and they're in cleanup mode. And so this was a decent level base, um, but because of the location and design of where the queen was, the air defenses, and uh, the clan castle, that Gola Loon uh, with the Quag Quake uh, is a really nice attack strategy that I'm going to be looking for in future wars against bases with that kind of layout. And the last one here is uh, Dead Wizard against number six base here. Just quick scouting on this base. Again, you see there's uh, exposed queen and exposed air defenses. And when I see that, uh, you know, that tends to lean us towards an air attack. Again, they are rush bases, so not very high level whiz towers or archer towers. Uh, the expos are pointed up, but they're only level one. Uh, you have a lureable clan castle. And so, again, with the quad quake, you're going to be able to take out one of the ADs. Uh, with the queen on the outside and that other AD on the outside, you're going to be able to snipe another air defense, leaving only two level six air defenses to fend off a quattro la lune attack. And so, uh, anytime you see something like that, uh, you should definitely consider an air attack because you're only going to have to deal with about half of the defenses. You're not going to have to mess with any of the ground targeting defenses other than just the fact that they have to be taken out at some point. Uh, but we'll go ahead and get this uh, raid started here. That queen, because she's butted right up against the wall, she will jump that wall. Uh, Quad Quake goes ahead and gets that first air defense out of the way right away. And then it's a matter of taking care of the queen, the air defense, and the clan castle. See, she jumps the wall there because she's butted right up against it. If there was a gap there, she may not. And at, while everything's being distracted, the hogs come in, take out that other air defense, and they've done their job. Barbarian King was uh, just a one-for-one -one trade. Hogs, all they had to do was take that air defense out. And now the last real part of this raid, other than just taking the base out, is the clan castle kill. And what's left for that is a dragon, four minions, and the archer queen. And so you see there, not the best idea spamming those minions in there because those wizards just took them out in one shot because of their splash damage. And uh, they also took a little bit of the dragon out. And so the dragon stays up, but the archer queen activates her ability and goes ahead and finishes him off. So that's kind of the third, I guess, step of that attack, and from there it's just a matter of dropping the Quattro La Loon. Two on each air defense, followed by targeted loons. Again, you don't want to spam the loons, you want to try to target them uh, two per defense as you work your way around. What that does is just kind of helps secure the pathing for the loons as they go around. And so with four Lava Hounds sitting there on two defenses, they are just providing a ton of tanking. You see not even needing any spells. There's one of them broke. Loons at second one broke, and the air defenses are already down. So there's still going to be two Lava Hounds going around with all the pups and the loons. And rage spells may not even be necessary, but you still have two in the bag. So uh, just a really powerful attack against a base when they expose their air defenses and their queen like that. So if you're Town Hall 9 designing a base, uh, a couple things you got to look at is you need to protect your queen, you need to protect your air defenses. Uh, because if you've got anything below uh, level 7766 air defenses, you're going to be pretty subject to La Luna attacks uh, if people know how to do them. So um, keep that in mind. Those of you who are new Town Hall 9s or existing Town Hall 9s, you've got to protect those things uh, until you get to be a little more maxed out. Then when you have the level 7 ADs, you can maybe you know put them a little closer to the outside. But again, you just don't want to expose yourself to somebody being able to systematically dismantle your base and go all air against you. And so you can see there, Quattro La Loon takes everything out, pups do the cleanup, and a nice three-star attack there by Dead Wizard.
So that is it for this war recap. Again, another really great job, guys. Excellent job on the Town Hall 8s on taking care of your business on those few uh, five or six bases at the bottom, getting those light quake dragoon attacks in and just wiping them out. Town Hall 9s at the top, getting your two star uh, first attempts in and making sure we didn't have to waste cleanup attacks on Town Hall 9s, which allowed our top players to go in and pick up those three stars, which is uh, the margin of victory. I mean, if we didn't do exactly what we did, there's no guarantee that we would have won this. Uh, that is a great team effort and everyone doing their part. And, uh, coming out with another win. So great job, everybody. Until next time, the All Father signing out.